<clears throat> we learned yesterday that the last quarter, our GDP finally regained its pre-pandemic level. It's taken about a year of economic growth just to recover back to where we started. Obviously, we're still far below where our pre-COVID trajectory would have had us today. Before this 100-year pandemic, Republican policies had helped build the best economic moment for American workers in recent memory. Unemployment was at remarkable lows. Wages were on the rise. Pay was growing faster for workers toward the bottom of the income scale, actually faster than those at the top. That was then. This is now. For the last several months, a different philosophy has guided our recovery. Our Democratic friends believe in borrowing, spending, and taxing at dizzying rates. They want to engineer some kind of socialist recovery from the top down. So how's it going? Well, <clears throat> that GDP report that came out yesterday was actually a substantial miss. Our economy grew almost 25% slower than the experts had predicted. Another economic disappointment. Now remember, this new administration and this Democratic Congress were set up for success, unlike any other transition we'd seen in our lifetimes. They inherited not one, not two, but three safe and effective vaccines that were spreading around the country. They inherited an economy that was raring to come back thanks to five bipartisan rescue packages we passed last year. But instead of helping the American people get back to normal, Democrats decided they wanted to build back bloated. Build back bloated. They jammed through a massive $2 trillion so-called COVID package that only spent about 1% on vaccinations and less than 10% on public health. The rest went to a litany, a literal litany of inflationary liberal spending. Now American families are paying the price. Slower hiring than expected, slower growth than expected, a weaker comeback than expected. Their policies are sticking it to the middle class families through higher prices at the grocery store at the gas pump, at the hardware store, at the car dealership, in the housing market, and practically everywhere else that matters to families. Employers, large and small, down to Main Street shops and construction sites, are struggling to hire and turning down work because Democrats decided taxpayers should keep directly paying people to stay home. Our country is flooded with safe, effective, and free vaccines for anyone who wants one. But Democrats are still making small businesses bid against a special government handout that rewards, believe it or not, not working. Our bipartisan work last year left our country primed and ready for a comeback summer. But it's becoming clearer and clearer that Democrats in the Capitol and down Pennsylvania Avenue pursued economic policies that have fumbled the handoff. Now, in the days ahead, Democrats want to steamroll ahead with yet another reckless tax and spending spree, more unhinged borrowing, printing, and spending, more welfare spending with no, listen to this, no work requirements, everything from amnesty to big chunks of the Green New Deal and historic tax hikes poured on top for good measure. This kind of reckless taxing and spending spree would make their last failed package look like a walk in the park. And the pain that families are already feeling would just be beginning. 